Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we learned that Keita, the main protagonist, moves from school to school for some reason. Um, I guess to find my gift? So let's go check out the clubs because that's what the teacher recommended. Hmm. One nice thing about this school is the lack of rumors. What? How do you know? You just started school. Oh yeah, and this is my first day of school. I've managed to quietly slip in this time, which is a relief. People always talk behind my back about what sort of a person I was. Oh, those, those rumors suck. They don't even know you and they just make up stuff. They never seem to understand either. I was always compared to my parents. Wait, how do they know my parents? Practically everyone in the country knows their name at this point. They do? Anyway, I think I should check out the clubs now. If I don't have something to do in this boring place, then I'm going to go stir crazy. Oh yeah, you know, being bored all the time is boring. <laughs> and that's a given. It might be a good place to make some new friends. That's right, Kata. Oh, right. What's the point of that? Oh, yeah, I mean, if he moves from school to school. I already know what's going to happen. Damn it. No, I need to stop thinking like that. Yeah, I'm sure that things could turn out better here. As I idly muse to myself, I smack into something. The impact is enough to make me fall over. Dazed, I slowly look around me. What, what'd you hit? Weren't you paying attention? I'm too dizzy to pick myself up yet. What did I run into? Oh. That's what slash who I ran into. Stripes. I see an abundant amount of stripes. Oh, th those stripes, ah. Blue and white stripes. As my vision clears, I finally realize what has happened. A black haired girl with pale blue eyes stares back at me. While I stare at her crotch. Her mini skirt completely fails to hide her panties. Well, I mean it is a mini skirt and if you knock someone over, yeah. Wait, this is the girl who is sitting next to me in class. What? What are you doing? Look where you're going, stupid. S -s -s sorry You don't sound sincere about that. She angrily scolds me, seemingly unaware of what's exposed. Hmm. I think it would be a good idea to let her know. Yeah, I gotta show her respect. Uh, uh, excuse me. You're not excused. That, that, that's not what I'm trying to say here. You need to be more considerate of others when you're walking around. She's not listening to me. Oh man, this isn't good. I have to try again. The, that's not... That is relevant. That isn't what I was going to say. That putting words in my mouth. She's too intent on expressing her anger to notice the problem. But I can't give up yet. L listen to me. You have a problem. I do. You bumped into me. But that's not the problem. Stop cutting me off. That is the problem here. No, that's not it. What do you mean that isn't it? Why are you looking at me like... Her eyes slowly look down and she sees what the problem is. An eruption of red spreads across her face. She immediately slips her hands between her thighs pulling her skirt down to hide her stripes. It does not really help though. You saw everything, didn't you? Y y yes Oh no, why did I say that? The words seem to hit her like a sledgehammer. How can you just admit that so shamelessly? It, it was an accident, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to see her panties. I think I'm just making her angrier. Yeah, yes you are. She picks herself up and runs down the hall. 
You better not tell anyone what happened. I don't know who did it. Well, I mean, we're the only two here. For a moment, I just sit there, slowly taking in what happened. Stripes. An abundant of stripes. Then, I remember that I'm sprawled on the ground and quickly get to my feet. What a strange encounter. Hmm. Wait. He was sitting next to me in class. This next lesson is going to be awkward. Yeah, just a teeny tiny tad bit. Hmm. Hmm. So, my lessons dragged on for the rest of the afternoon. With awkwardness. The only thing I could be bothered doing is waiting for the bell to ring. It's only a matter of time. There's no sign of the girl I bumped into either. Oh, so you just decided not to go to class? Now then, students, a word before you go. Do make sure to review today's material. What, what, did, what did we learn? This will be on your test this semester, so do not forget it. Everything's on a test, teacher, thanks. Shortly after he finishes speaking, the bell rings. Time to finally leave this place. Woo! Hooray! Another long, boring, and pointless first day. But, there's still some clubs I haven't had a look at yet. Wait, what? Don't, don't clubs start after school? Then how'd you get a chance to look at clubs? As I'm about to leave, he turns to me again. Peta, I just wanted to talk to you again. Oh, what did I do now? Yes, sir? How was your first day? Pretty much what I expected it to be. You know, bored in class, knocking a girl down, seeing her panties. Yeah, about, you know, that's what I expected. And what did you expect it to be? Do you really want to know? My response makes him frown. I see. He turns back towards his desk, gathering his things. Aw, oh, he probably looks sad right now. Well then, did you check out the clubs? A few of them. None have really stood out to me yet. I'll keep looking, but I don't know if I'll find one I like. I think swimming. I think... Because, you know, that's what you're curious about, eh? He readjusts his glasses awkwardly. Good. Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find somewhere to spend your time. Another thing, too. Ah, oh, what now? Even if you don't like any of them, please join one, okay? But what's the point of joining one if... If, if I don't like it? Can I just join the Go Home Club? I know there's the go home club. His tone suggests that he's commanding me more than asking me. I don't like that teacher. Mm. You really need to. No I don't. What about the swimming club? He just shakes his head. It wouldn't be worth your time. Why do you say that? Why wouldn't it be? I told you before, it has an infamous reputation among the students. What, what do you mean by infamous reputation? That, that just makes me more curious. He just shrugs. Well, you can if you wish to. But I do not know if it will be the club that suits you. Hmm. Despite myself, I really want to know more about the swimming club. Where can I find the school's pool? He lets out a defeated, weary sigh. Down the hall from this classroom, take a right, another right, then a left. I hope you find what you're looking for there. He packs his things and heads out of the room. I don't know, I mean, yep, it's an infamous reputation, right? That's what the swimming club has. Or maybe I'll find it. See you tomorrow then, Kata. I hope that I will be able to help you. I know that he means well, but I don't like how he talks about this swimming club that way. 
Hmm. Well, I mean, you don't know what, what the swimming club is capable of. Is it even appropriate for a teacher to comment on things like that? I don't think so. Did something happen with the swimming club? Is that why he's talking about it that way? Hmm. All it does is make you want to find out more about it. Yeah, I know, right? What is the truth behind this swimming club? I guess that's something I can investigate right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sakura Swim Club, where we knocked down the black-haired girl and saw her abundant stripes, her panties. So if you guys enjoyed that, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.